Shafishi, <laughs> Uh, my dear friends, I really, really am honoured and, and thrilled and delighted and, and humbled to be among you here uh, this evening and to be here in an Irish club and to have the opportunity to represent the Irish government and the people of Ireland and to come over to probably one of the furthest flung parts of the world from, from where I am down in, in West Cork in Ireland and come over here and be among you, an Irish society. Uh, a society and a group of people who are so proud of your heritage that we all share, so proud of that history that we have, the wonderful job for that we have, the wonderful culture that we have in Ireland, and you have brought that to the furthest faraway part of the world, and you have done that with pride, you have done it with distinction, you have done it with honour. So it's, it's an enormous privilege for me to be here on the part of the government and to recognise, and to more than just recognise what you have done here, but to thank each and every one of you for your contribution to ensuring that the Irish message and the Irish word and the Irish um, journey has continued, as I say, to the farthest, far, far away parts over to New Zealand, to this island, and that you have ensured to keep the culture and our heritage alive, and more than alive, you've kept it thriving and you've kept it growing and stronger and built more pride. And the more I meet people out here and the more I see the efforts of a group like this in Hot Valley, the prouder I am to be an Irish person. So I'm prouder today of my Irishness than I was yesterday, having come among you and having this particular privilege and honour to be here. So I really mean that from the, from the bottom of my heart. Um, I want to thank our, our special guests who have come here, uh, Ginny Anderson, the local MP, and the Mayor Ray Wallace for, for coming along as well and honouring us uh, on this occasion, but more importantly each and every one of you who has come along here. Um, and my message is simple, is to say as, as um, I didn't get your first name, did man? Finbar. Finbar. As Finbar was saying, uh, there at the start, that it, it's really important, as, as he said, that, uh, that we are on the map, that, that people know we exist, that you people do exist, and that's really the message I want to bring from Ireland, is that we are very, very conscious of our diaspora, that we are all one family, we are the Irish family, and there are no borders, there are no barriers, we are one united family, and we have an opportunity on a week like this to celebrate all that's great and good about our Irishness, and to spread our wings all over the world, as the doors are thrown open from the White House to whatever capital it is in the world, the doors are thrown open today for the Irish and are in this week for the Irish, and we're extraordinarily proud of that. But the message we as a government want to say is, you are as important to us, and we really, really want to reach out to our Irish brothers and sisters on this week and let you know that you matter to us, you are important to us, you are part of the Irish family, and you will always be part of that family. And that's the reason my presence is here today, to tell each and every one of you that. And I suppose that's uh, particularly on a week like this when we are celebrating our national heritage. It's a very opportune time to come and do that. And to thank you for your contribution to the wonderful Irishness that you have spread over here in New Zealand. And indeed, to thank you for your contribution to New Zealand and to the wonderful country that it is. And I met with the government there today. I met a member with uh, one of the ministers there today. And I'm meeting with Tracy Martin today. And I'm meeting again with some more ministers while I'm here for the week. And that's the message they want me to impart as well, as they really want to acknowledge the contribution of the Irish people. And I suppose for us as a government, you will be aware in Ireland, and I know all of you are following issues and, and have a close connection still to, to the news and watching what's happening. Uh, we have faced enormous challenges. We had a huge recession there in 2018, as happened the world over. I know this country had a, a technical recession, but we had a very real recession on the ground. But like Ireland has done time and memorial through its history, whether it was 170 years ago at the time of the famine, or whether it is just seven years ago when the financial crisis or 10 years ago hit us, we rose to the challenge and we have overcome that challenge, and we have stood up to it, and we'll do it again. We'll have challenges again, and we have Brexit in the horizon at the moment, and we, we will always have challenges, but the nature of the Irish and the spirit of the Irish has always been to face up to it and to deal with it. I'm delighted to tell you that our economy is the second fastest growing economy in the European Union at the moment. Unemployment has gone from 16%. It was a horrendous challenge in 2011 that the country faced. 300,000 people had lost their jobs in the space of a year and a half. It was horrendous what we had faced, but thankfully that is, uh, has all been dealt with. It's down to 6% now. 
uh, there's 2.2 million people working in Ireland today, more than ever were working in Ireland in the history of the state. So we are facing those challenges and we are dealing with them and Ireland is going very well. And the one thing I could ask each and every one of you to do is to continue to do what you're doing, continue to celebrate with such pride our culture, our heritage, all that is wonderful and all that unites us, and that's our shared history, our language, so much that we've going for us. To continue to sell the message of Ireland, we want to continue to see more visitors. New Zealand is a target market for the Irish. And this is something we're very anxious to see is more New Zealanders who have often expressed the desire to visit Ireland. So we want to make that into a reality and encourage more and more people from this island to visit Ireland. And as Brexit takes shape and as we face that enormous challenge of losing one of our largest trading partners, we now have to look at the bigger, wider world. And as you, most of you will know, we're opening an embassy here at the end of the year. We hope to have it open before the end of the year. We'll have an Irish um, embassy in Wellington. So that will be a very positive development and something we're really looking forward to do. And as I say, as Brexit, as our huge part of their Britain moves offside, for want of a better word, word to say it, uh, we will then be looking to the bigger, wider world there and build relationships with countries like New Zealand that we have such a shared history in and we have such a shared passions for rugby among many other things that are going <laughs> quite well for us, particularly this week in Ireland. But there, there's lots of similarities we have with New Zealand and we want to build and build on those and have more to do. So I think our futures are really, really bright and the role that you as Irish people can play is going to be absolutely incredible to continue to, to sell the message of Ireland and encourage people to engage, become aware and visit Ireland and hopefully we will do more, more I suppose, uh, have more links, whether it's on economic fronts, cultural fronts, tourism fronts, all of those, we can develop all of those. Uh, it would be remiss if we not to acknowledge my cousin here, my first cousin, Carol Hayes, whom uh, will be known to all of you. Uh, and it's very, I suppose it's a very unique and, and special occasion for me to be here in this club and meet my first cousin when I'm coming in the door. Uh, that tells you how small and tiny the world is, the huge big world that we look at on the map. And yet you come in and I come down two or three steps down, I meet Kate McCarthy from the Manway, who is a couple of miles over the road from me at home, in uh, where I come from, a small village called Dreen, and where Carol comes from. So uh, the world is really, really tiny. I was at an event last night uh, in uh, Christchurch with an Irish club there, and I met a lady who was married to Halsey from Drina. So it's been, a, 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 you know, a really, really unique learning experience there. And finally, I just want to thank the officials who are accompanying me here from the embassy. They have been um, absolutely superb, and I want to thank Eamon and thank Denise for uh, your unstinting courtesy and your support during my journey here and they have really uh, organised a fantastic programme, a bit too busy for my liking, but it is taking me to, to all corners of New Zealand while I'm here, they have me on a flight every single day while I'm here. Um, but anyway, it's great to be able to do it and to bring the message of Ireland to the Irish people and basically to say we are one family, we remain one family, we're very conscious of you and we want to reach out and ensure that we keep up that communication and we build stronger links because we are all united as one. Uh, and listen at focal shin, but while I'm at Tasulukum Community Shift Galeer, Tanafas Nikhil Ura Ta Osar Gore, August Meg, Law Ail Fadrik Honadiv Galeer, Gurmila Mahakwif.